seven dogs rescued from a testing facility in Europe will experience their first taste of freedom at an animal sanctuary in Kent. The beagles have been living in confined cages at a research lab since they were born, while being used in experiments, some for over a decade. There to meet them with some of the foster carers who will give them a new loving home. Joe Coshin has our story. Their first smell of nature, their first paws on grass and for some, the first time they've seen daylight. Rescued from a research facility in Spain, these seven beagles have had their first chance to roam free after being released from a life of being experimented on. Beagles are the number one tested on animal because of their docile nature, their loving, trusting and forgiving. And people use that, the very traits that makes you want them as a pet, against them. We work through the facility to get them released. And that's what Beagle Freedom Project does. We want animal testing to end, ultimately, but in the meantime we need to protect the animals and not just euthanise them because they're done with them for testing. Let them have the chance of being an animal in a home. Generally, animal testing isn't banned in the UK. In fact, new medicines must be tested by law on animals before being trialled on humans. So he's got his tail tucked right down and he's very, very anxious, but he looks in good health. Before the beagles can be rehomed, they're being checked over and treated by the team at this animal sanctuary in Ashford. Deliberately in the fields, though, rather than a vet clinic that could trigger memories of being in a lab. One of the dogs I checked has got quite a lot of wear on its canines, and that would be probably because it's been spending its time gnawing on the bars of the cages that it, or the pens that it's been in. They're obviously not young dogs, so they have got a, a limited life, but they, there's nothing that I've seen that would make me concerned. And it's actually quite nice to see that they are in good condition and they've obviously travelled well. Now this is Birdie and you can tell because she has a little love heart on her coat and she could do with a little bit of love. After being stuck in a cage and being tested on for so long she essentially has a puppy's mind in an adult dog's body. Put simply, she needs to now learn how to be a dog. So at the minute they're just a shell of a dog. So yeah they look like a dog and they look like a beagle but they haven't got their personality out yet. So how to go to the toilet, how to walk on a harness, how to play, uh, what toys are fun, what treats are fun, and how to play with each other. The reason why it's kind of quite suitable for him is we've got another dog there where he can learn his behavioural habits from, because when they come out of the labs, we tend to find they regress. Why wouldn't you want to take in one of these dogs who need that chance more than probably most? To be honest, with the lives that they've had in those laboratories, you can imagine it's horrible. So why not give them the best chance? Oh my goodness, you're God. I know. While this rescue may have been a howling success, those leading the project hope this is just the first of many. Joe Coshin, ITV News, Ashford.